Hey guys, it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, excuse the background noise. I took some time off of playing Persona 5 to just kind of play some YouTube videos. Um, if you guys are really new or somewhat new, before my beginning of this channel, I used to it used to begin as an Asian ball jointed doll channel before it became more of an encompassing all of my hobby channel. I finally got an adult. Um, for those of you who don't know, Asian ball jointed dolls are basically ball jointed dolls. Um, primarily made in Asia, obviously, but um, main countries would be Japan, Korea, and China. Um, this one is from Korea. It is a distant memory, Sungho, uh, but I ordered it from Nobility Doll. It came on Tuesday, but I was I've been so busy with work and playing Persona 5 that I haven't gotten the chance to open him, and I want to wait until there weren't a lot of people home. Um, so I'm just gonna open him up and maybe talk a bit about this. I pre-ordered him back in February, I think. I don't remember. <laughs> It's just been quite a long time. Um, a lot of things have happened. I apologize. I'm still getting things, so if you're curious on that, I might be making a video about that sooner or later. Um, I it's January... I'm trying to remember what happened in January, but I don't remember. <laughs> February um, was Katsukon. Um, so I went to Katsukon and it was fun. Um, the only things I got were BTS Blu-rays, so that's great. You go to an anime convention and you get BTS, because that's what I do. Um, then I had my interview for the current job I'm, I have, um, it's contract but I hope to make it full-time. So this is kind of like my proof of worth, I guess. Um, it, I, it's contract. I work as a QA tester, a quality assurance tester um, for video games. I actually work at um, Zenny Max Media or Bethesda Softworks as a lot of people would better know them as. Um, if you guys don't recognize the name, they've done series like Fallout, Skyrim, Elder Scrolls. They've distributed and stuff. Um, Dishonored, uh, Evil Within, etc., etc. So I work for them, and I work with them on the weekdays, and I still do my Starbucks job on the weekends, so you can just imagine how tough that is. Uh, I actually took a three-week break because I actually had planned on going to China with my family during this time, but because of the new job, I didn't want to ruin any good chances of me being able to get full-time with this, so. It's just the consequence I have to make, but you know what? If I can make this full-time, it'd be pretty amazing. Um, March was the BTS concert. Uh, we went, we as in me and my brother, um, we went to the Friday one in Newark. Uh, we drove up there in the morning and we stayed there and left the next day. Oh my god, um, I've never seen BTS live and just, I haven't been to a concert in so long. The last time I ever went to a concert was probably Duran Gray, and that was years ago, so you can just imagine. <laughs> but the seats I got were pretty good, actually. I'm surprised. Like, they weren't, you know, section one seats. We were section two, but we were just right there, so front. And it was just an amazing experience, and if they ever come back to the United States to do more concerts, definitely gonna go. Um, we lost our voices and everything. It was great. Uh, April was my start day, so ever since then, that's all I've been doing. So here's the box, says Distant Memory on the bottom. 
I can already smell the resin, so that's promising. Um, the truth is, I actually did a pre-order uh, group order with one of my friends, Sophia. Yo, um, I just ordered the head at the time, but then I was very tempted to just get it as a get him as a full doll, and so I separately bought uh, him as a full doll. And here's the packaging. I don't know if you can see it because of the way I have my camera angled. So wow, I really don't want to take this out because it's so nicely done. Um, looks like it's the authenticity, so nobility doll. Um, and it says on the back that it is a uh, Sunho. So usually if you're new to this, dolls, unfortunately, especially in this hobby, it's so expensive um, because all of these dolls are artist-made dolls. So they can get quite pricey. Um, you can research yourself on how much these dolls cost. And I'm just going to say that for me, they are worth the money. I rarely ever regret the purchases I made for my dolls. I mean, think your minds change, but like so far, all the dolls I ever purchased, I've only ever sold one. I might sell another one, but they've only ever been heads. I'm very picky on what I choose. So, I think what's in here is my jointed hands that I got with him. So I'm just gonna quickly open this up. Yep, it is jointed hands. I decided if I was just gonna get him as a full doll, I might as well get the hands that the artist uh, made. So there's that. You can sit in the box, but don't jump into this one. So I'm gonna untie these ribbons, even though I don't really want to. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, this guy is a 65 centimeter doll. He's, it's considered one third of a human body, of the average human body, so he's a little bit taller because you, normally it's, uh, 60 centimeters is average. So it looks like he's very bubble wrapped. Um, I will open this up, free him. So, like I said, unfortunately, these sort of dolls are, there are recasts made of them, um, especially for ones that are somewhat expensive or rare. There are limited editions and limited versions of certain dolls, depending on the company. And Sunho is, I guess, what you consider a limited doll because it is made by one artist that leads the head. I think the body, um, they, commission, they have an ability to make it for them. So, unfortunately, things like certificates of authenticity are kind of necessary if you want to prove legitimate ship of your doll. Because people are um, I mean, to put it straightforward, people can lie, people will lie, and fake dolls have been sold as real dolls, and it's very, um, depressing when that happens for the person who buys it not knowing that, or who has been lied to. Um, I've talked about it in really old videos, but I do not support recasts at all, um, ever since I've been in this hobby. I found this hobby back in 2004, um, late 2004, and I didn't get my first doll until 2006. All of my dolls are legit. I would never buy recast that. It would go against my principles. Um, so just gonna. Sorry, uh, these dolls are. Atomically correct, so nudity is definitely going to happen. Um, this is not, I think I mentioned before, this is not a cheap hobby, but there are ways of getting cheap dolls. 
Unfortunately, the dolls I normally like are on the pricier side, so there's that. But like I said, um, I usually buy my dolls, most people buy their dolls for their life, for what they like about the sculpt or the body or etc. Um, fortunately for this hobby, you can always mix and match heads with bodies. But it's the only difficult part is that um, you want a perfect resin match, which is the color of the bodies. With the head, it will be somewhat difficult um, depend because all companies are different. And yeah, um, first of all, if you've ever seen my one video about switch body, uh, looks like this guy sort of has that same thing that I do not like, where they have a slouch mechanism thing, and I don't really care about that. I don't... It makes for nice posing, but... This is the first time I've ever bought from Nobility Dolls, so this is my first time checking it out. Looks pretty good. I mean, there's seams, but I'm someone who really does not care about that. I'm very old school, I guess. Um, but, like, seam-wise, it's actually pretty good. Uh, looks like he is double-jointed, and you can tell because of the elbows, and I'm going to assume the knees. Yep, double-jointed on the knees. Um, I don't know if you can see his face, but... Sung Ho is... Distant memory Sung Ho. Uh, and he's actually based off of Jimin, Park, Park Jimin from BTS, which is um, one of the main reasons why I decided to get him. And the same artist actually has another sculpt, their first sculpt, um, their first BTS sculpt, I should say, is uh, Taehyung, or as they called it, Hwayeong. And um, he is someone I'm desperately looking for. So, but uh, Sung Ho, and if you guys don't know, um, you can change their eyes, you can change the way their face looks. Um, their faces are usually called face ups, at least for us uh, English speakers. Um, so you can change the way they look, um, the way they dress, you know, that sort of change their hair, wigs. So, that is my box opening of Sung Ho. Sorry that I haven't made a video in a while, but I hope with everything coming, I have stuff coming, and obviously I'm getting back into dolls. Um, I'm really excited about this because, uh, you know, it's, it's weird that BTS got me back into K-pop in a sense, and now BTS has gotten me back into dolls so it's weird but at the same time i'm really happy i'm really excited to uh get everything done for this guy i think i know what i want for his face just have to figure out if the artist i want to paint him um is free to do that and if not i have to find a second choice hopefully i'll be making more videos soon just to show you guys what i've gotten um, and I will see you guys next time. Later.